Hello everyone, Metal Plexel here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing all of these LEGO Marvel Studios Series 2 minifigures. Um, I'm really excited to do these. Um, I know I'm quite late at doing a review on these, there's countless videos on YouTube already. However, if you haven't seen any, then welcome to my video, I hope, I hope you enjoy it. Um, now, I might be quite late, but let's be honest, the Mar reviews so far are from LEGO Star Wars sets from 1999, so I wouldn't really say I'm that late. But anyway, um, interesting about these minifigures is that these are the first series to use these boxes instead of packets. So, obviously, how do people work out who's in each box? Well, people have shown online that you can weigh them. Now, I've got a set of scales here. We're going to see if that method works. Um, now, I am a huge Marvel fan. I always have been. I love the movies. I love the shows. I, gr I grew up with Marvel, like um, Colossus, um, Doctor Doom. They're like two of my favourite characters. <laughs> Um, this is based on the MCU um, TV show um, t uh, TV show characters. So this is what these are based on. So uh, as you can see, you get like Moon Knight, Werewolf by Night, Storm from the well for the X Men ninety seven show, um, along with um, Mister Knight, uh, and then Hawkeye, um, Echo. I'm really looking forward to doing this one. And as you can see, for the comparison, well size comparison, here's a Ernesto de la Cruz figure. I really like that figure. Um, next to the size of the box. Um, it is it is uh, bigger than what the usual boxes are, but um, anyway, yeah. And also, here is a complete set of my Series 1 figures. I didn't do a review on that. It's a shame, I should have done. And here is a empty box, or empty case for Series 2, these ones. Now, I should get at least one full set in this. If I don't, that's really unlucky, but... Really, I should get three, but as long as I get at least one, I'll be very happy. So yeah, let's jump into this review. Right, okay, so um, let's take a look at the first figure. Now, as you can see, we're going to weigh it, and it says, oh, not, hmm, not 0.65 ounces. So going by this, oh, I'm just going to let that focus. Um... Hmm. There doesn't seem to be a not. I think the closest one we've got, by the looks of it, is Mr. Knight here. So. Okay, does that definitely. Yeah, it says 0 0.65. So it should be Mr. Knight. Let's take a look and see if it is. So if it is, if it is, sorry, that means that this is accurate. Now, just going to open it like that. And it is. No, it's Wolverine. Okay, so we was 0 0.02 ounces off, but that's fine. Okay then. Now here is the Wolverine figure from the X-Men 97 show. Um, it comes with a sentinel head as well as his hairpiece, so you can take his mask off. I love this figure. It's good. It's nice to, to review some uh, more modern figures. Nothing against the old ones. Obviously, I do love the old Star Wars figures. Um, obviously, I do love the classic look of all figures, but this is really nice. Obviously, Wolverine, again, being one of my favourite Marvel characters, I really like this. It comes with his claws. You even get a spare one. Now, these remind me... I think the very first set that I got that came with his claws was the old Monster Fighters set. Um, you got a, this werewolf... I can't remember what it was. It was a werewolf character, and it came with those claws, so it reminds me of that. So, um, And you also get these... I think I think I first got these in the. Um, I had some DC Lego figures, and you got these. We could put them in different poses. I can't remember. Besides, obviously, the other Marvel series I've got. So these are cool. I'll, I'll put them in a uh, pose now, just so you can see that. Now here's Wolverine again in a different pose. I've also put the um, Sentinel head uh, on him. Obviously, the Sentinels played a big part in the um, X Men '97 show. Um, so yeah, I really like this figure. I really love the X Men TV show. Um, it, the theme tune is actually my ringtone on my phone as well. So yeah, I love this figure. One definitely. I haven't even looked at the other figures yet, and I already know that this one's going to be one of my favourites. It's probably even going to be in my top three. Right, so now let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so here is another box. Let's put it on here. So what's that? We now have 0 0.070 ounces. So take a look at this. This should be... Um, who have we got that's closest to that? Um, definitely not. Storm. Storm's one that's very close. Um, definitely not Agatha. I would po ah, I would possibly say Moon Knight. 
Moon Knight looks like one that's very close. What's that? Not point. Or Storm. Yeah. I'm going to say Storm for that one. So, yeah, let's take a look then. Let's see if it is Storm. Let's open it up from here. This side. And hmm, it's Wolverine again. Bruh. Okay. So, as you can see so far, it doesn't seem to be very accurate. So, let's keep going. Let's see who's in the next one. Okay, so number three, let's have a look and see who we know who this is. So what's that? 0 0.075 ounces. So this could be either Kate Bishop or let's have a look who else have we got. It could be Kate Bishop or Agatha Harkness. Now, I really like Agatha. Obviously, I'm assuming I will get at least, I will, I should get both of these two. I'm really hoping so. But yeah, I reckon this is going to be Agatha. So let's take a look. Let's see if it is. If it, I absolutely love WandaVision. It's definitely... That and Loki are my two favourites, but WandaVision is definitely my favourite out of the uh, shows. Ah, would you look at that? It's Agatha. You even get the dark hold as well. That is so cool. Comes with a cape. I can't get it open. Comes with a cape as well. So yeah, I'll uh, put that one together now and we'll have a look at it. Now here is um, Agatha, a really nice figure. Um, probably, again, this is probably going to be one of my favourites. I absolutely loved WandaVision. I really like um, Catherine Hahn as an actor as well. <laughs> I really enjoyed Bad Moms. I think it's a good film. Um, obviously, you get the Dark Hold, which is a really cool accessory. Um, now, I can't really focus on that. Uh, can't see race it, uh, focus. But um, it comes with uh, these two things that you can actually fire them out. Let's see if I can get it to work. No. You can get them to work, but I'm not going to properly try. Obviously heads, obviously double sided. Um, now you do get. Um, let me just switch that, off, switch that off a moment. You do get this. Obviously that you do all the figures. Now I don't really know what po. She doesn't obviously have poseable legs. However, if I were to just, oh, if I were to just put that on there like that, you could, mm, you could try and make it look like she's just flying through the air. I guess. Which looks quite it's quite cool. Uh, but yeah, you could do that. Yeah, I, I like that figure. Again, both of the two figures so far have been definitely my, they're probably going to be my favourite two out of the uh, probably top three. But a bit biased to say, yeah, these are the only two I've looked at. But yeah, really like this one as well. Right, so now let's take a look at the fourth one. So what is this? Um, 0 0.075. Okay, so very similar to our last one. So... Again, it could be either Agatha again, or it could be could be Kate Bishop. Can't, that won't focus. Do apologise for that. Um, yeah. Hopefully this time it's Kate Bishop. If not, it doesn't matter. There's nothing wrong with having the doubles as long as I do get Kate Bishop at some point. But yeah, let's take let's take a look at this one. So let's unbox that. It's Agatha again. Yay. I do like Agatha. So it's good to have more than one. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. Might as well do it in the same shot. Okay, so next one it is 0 0.065. So this could potentially be Moon Knight. I'd like it to be Moon Knight or Beast. Again, another X-Men, that would be fantastic. Um, or Mr. Knight. Could be Mr. Knight. Uh, I'm not going to do this for every single figure, so I understand it can get a bit tedious. But um, let's take a look. I'm going to say... I'm going to say Beast. I'm going to say Beast for this one. Let's take a look. Wolverine again. What? Right, okay. Uh, okay, so this one. Oh, didn't even weigh it. 0 0.070, so that could be, um, was that not point? It could either be Storm or Moon Knight. I'm going to say Storm for this one. Oh, and it is. Nice one. Wow. I'm looking, I'm really wanted this one. Nice. Let's get this one built. So here we have Storm. I mean, wow. What a fantastic figure. This is... I think this one is my favourite. 
the, in the, the cape. I've never seen a cape like that before. It, it, the character, this figure really stays true to the show. I've, I've already put him put her in the pose. I mean, look at that. It's such a good, such a really good one. This one's, I think this one will definitely be my favourite. 100%. I really really like this this, uh, this figure. I really like the character. I love the show. I really, really do. So, yeah, the uh, the cape it, the cape and the hairpiece. I don't think I've ever seen that hairpiece before. I'm sure. I don't think I ever have. It sort of reminds me of like a, a punk rocker uh, hairdo. Like the, uh, is it the rocker from Series 4? Kind of takes me back to that, that figure that one does. But, um, but yeah, the obviously the electricity pieces, like what Palpatine has. Oh, but in yellow this time. Wow, yeah, I really like this one. That's a really, really nice figure. So, yeah. Right, okay, so next one. Obviously, the camera view keeps changing every time because I have to keep swapping out to uh, show the figure on the, t on the turntable. So that explains why it's moving. Uh, so, yeah, so the next one. This is... Not, what's that? Not point... Not seven five. Okay then. So who do we think that could be? So we've got Kate Bishop. Um, Kate Bishop or Agatha. Hopefully it's Kate Bishop this time. But yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look. Get this box open. Oh god, struggling. And it's Agatha again. Yay. So, what's that? That's three Agathas we've got now. Got three Wolverines as well. So, okay. Still got a lot of figures to go through. So, I'm not not worried at the minute. <clears throat> right, okay. So, another one. Which is 0 0.065. So, that could be either... Moon Knight. I, I can't imagine it being Storm. It could be Moon Knight. Mr. Knight, She-Hulk. There's a lot of options for this one. I'm going to say Goliath for this one. Just a, just a guess. Just a, just a shot in the dark. I'm going to say Goliath. And if it is, that's pretty cool. Um, no. No, it's not. It's... Uh, I forgot a name. <laughs> I can't remember what her name is. Um, Echo. Yeah, that's it. It's Echo. I haven't actually seen that one. So, yeah, Echo. Oh, let's... Um, I don't even think it's out yet, is it? I don't know, I can't remember. But yeah, uh, let's get this uh, figure built. Okay, so here is Echo. Now, I can't comment too much on this character because I don't really know this one. Um, I haven't actually seen the TV show uh, yet. I don't... Oh, it is out. I'm just... Ch sorry, just checking on my phone here. It is out. The show is out. Um, I haven't actually watched this one, so I don't really know anything about the character or the show. Um, the figure looks good. Um, that... I don't know what that is there. It looks like some weapon. I'll just call it like an ice cream looking piece. The prosthetic leg, that looks quite cool. I think I've only I don't think I haven't seen that on any other figure before. So that's actually quite that's quite cool. And just like pretty much all of them, you get the interchangeable head. So she's smiling on that one instead. Uh, obviously the long long hair piece, that's that's cool. And I've only just noticed actually there's it's got a print printed printing uh, printing on the hair there. That's actually quite cool. That not not my um, not one of my favourites, but that's still quite a cool figure. I think what really does it is the hair piece there actually. Oh, that's quite cool. That I like that. Okay then. So yeah, that was Echo. So so far, I've only got four actual characters that I don't. Well, yeah, four. I've only got four so far, so not doing too well at the moment, just getting a lot of doubles, but yeah, um, I am enjoying them so far. I am enjoying them. So let's move on to the next one. Right, okay, so the next one, let's take a look. Okay, so another one, and it is 0 0.070, so I reckon that might be, um, it definitely won't be Agatha, that's not... Definitely won't be Agatha, so we can rule her out. It could either be Storm again, or it could be Moon Knight. Could potentially be uh, Kate Bishop. I'm going to say it's Kate. I reckon this one's Kate Bishop. Let's take a look. And it is... Wow, it's Storm again. Okay, so another double, but that's fine. Nothing wrong with 
have another set, another, another storm. Like I said before, I could potentially have another full set. Nothing wrong with that, that's quite cool. Right, okay, so next box. Let's take a look of who's in here. Oh, okay, oh, storm again. Okay, nothing again, nothing wrong with that. We're just That's getting a bit filthy now, that. Okay, so that's storm again. Now, another box. Did I even weigh that last one? I don't think I even weighed it, did I? I can't even remember if I weighed it, I just opened it. Okay, um, right, 0.055. Is that right? 0.055, yeah, it is. Uh, wow, okay, that's quite light. That might be Werewolf then, or Echo again. Let's have a look. I don't think I even wiped that last one, I can't remember now. And it is Echo again. Okay, right, so I am starting to get quite a lot of doubles. But I've still got quite a lot to go. I can't really, I don't really want to tilt the thing over, but I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've still got seven on the top layer, like yet to go. So let's take a look at this one. 0.55 again. So yeah, I have a Kate Bishop or Will. So let's take a look. Open that. And it is Kate Bishop again. Wow. Uh, I'm getting a lot of doubles now. A lot. Okay. Uh, oh. 0.060. Let's take a look. Who do you reckon that could be? Be Kate again. Okay, let's just open. Let's just take a look now. I'm, I'm, I might not. I might take a little break from uh, looking at the weights, etc. Oh, it's Hawkeye. Oh, nice one. Got Hawkeye in this one. Okay, let's uh, let's build this one up. Now here we have Hawkeye. Now obviously Hawkeye is one of the original six Avengers. Um, obviously, this is the Hawkeye that's based on his uh, TV series. It comes with his um, baby owl, which is um, very cool to have because this is actually a new owl. I'm just going to try and get that to focus. This is a new mould, and obviously for anyone that likes to collect um, Lego animals, this is a really cool one to have. Um, obviously, this with this being um, based on the TV series, it has, um, if you can see that, it has like a bandage thing on his head there. The, I don't think, oh, the face is double-sided. So as you can see, there's more of a standard face there. It's like a smirk. And here is like a uh, more stern face on the front there. Um, the hair mould is really good. Uh, it's, it's a lot better hair piece than what he usually has. Um, the bow the bow and arrow is a new um, piece to have as well. So it's updated, it looks more like his, I guess. Um, so yeah, it uh, doesn't come with any more accessories, but it does come with his um, quiver here. I think that's how you say it, a quill, quiver. Not too sure, but um, yeah, this is a really good one to have. Right, so now for another one. So, obviously here's the box. 0 0.055. So, who could this be? Um, I would say that this one could... I'm not too sure who this could be. This could be... I can't imagine... This definitely won't be Agatha. So far, this hasn't been fully accurate, I will be honest. Um, I don't know. Moon Knight. Let's, I don't know. Let's, ho let's hope it's Moon Knight. I'm looking forward to having him. So, open the box. And it is... Oh, it's another Hawkeye. Nice. Okay, that's fine. Put that one aside. Next one. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to weigh this one. I'm just going to open it. Open this one. Oh, nice, Kate Bishop. Well, wow, this is a nice one. This one will go uh, with Hawkeye. Now, here we have Kate. Um, this is a cool figure to have, obviously, to go with Hawkeye. Um, it comes with the new bow and arrow piece again. It comes with Lucky, the uh, dog, as well as the uh, pizza box. Um, again, the uh, quiver on the back. And it's ha this one is, just like most of the others, a double-sided with the face. Uh, you can have more of the stern look on the back. Or on the front, whatever, and then there's the uh, normal face there. Um, I do like this one. I really like the arm printing and the uh, leg printing. I'm trying to get that to focus. This is a. Uh, this is probably. 
I wouldn't say this is one of my favourites, but it is a really good one. I do I do like this one. So yeah, it's a good one to have with uh, Clint. See Hawkeye. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, okay, next figure. We're nearly done with the first layer. There's only two more after this one. So let's try and weigh it. It is 0 0.075. Okay, so who do we have? This could be Kate again, or it could be Agatha again. I'm going to say it's Kate, because that's the closest one to... The... Oh, no, it's changed to 0 0.070. Okay, then. Um, I can't get that to focus. This could be She-Hulk or Wolverine again. Okay, let's take a look and see who this is. Oh, yeah, Kate again. Okay, that's fine. Let's move on to the next one. There's only one more left of the, this layer. Let's have a look. Okay, 0 0.070. Okay, let's... Uh... Oh, wow, this is Beast. Oh, wow, nice one. I was really, really looking forward to getting this character. Okay, let's let's put him together. So here is Beast. Wow. Now, I'm really struggling to pick a top three now. Top three favourites. Just quickly, as I, f I didn't mention, we're, we're just over halfway now through the complete set. So, anyway, the, here is Beast, obviously. Now, obviously with me saying I'm a big fan of X-Men, uh, I, I believe, I think this is actually the first time we've ever got a Beast figure. So, I love this one. Obviously, I love X-Men. Um, really good detailed figure, the uh, black printing on the side of his hair, the X-Men cup here, the microscope, so good accessories, you get a lot of spare pieces as you can see here, um, the uh, belt there, the uh, even the uh, claws on his feet, you can turn around, obviously there's the hair piece, turn it around and obviously he has a obviously double sided, double printed face, so yeah. I now have all three X-Men characters now, so yeah I do, I really like this one. I. I, th I think now, after getting these three figures alone, this has probably been one of my favourite Lego minifigure series. I am really, really enjoying this one. So, just to get the X-Men figures alone, this series has been really good for me. So, yeah, that is Beast. I'll let you have another quick look, so I keep picking him up. Um, nothing on the side, no side printing besides the hair. Obviously, the back, there's some fair on the back. But even though it's not fully detailed on the sides, it doesn't matter. It's still a really, really good figure. Okay, so last figure on the top shelf. I'm not, well, I'm going to put it on here, but I'm not going to have a look at the weight on this one. I'm just going to have a quick look. So here we have, wow, Goliath. Nice one. Probably not one of my favourites from this series, but still a good one to have. As you can see here, here is a little Ant-Man figure. Little Ant-Man there. Wow. Okay, I do like that. Let's get this one built. So here we have um, Goliath. Um, this is from the. Uh, I think this is our first figure now for the from the What If series. Obviously, this is from What If series two. Um, I really like the arm printing on this one, the and the leg printing as well. The whole the printing as a whole on this on this figure is really nice. It's not really a character I care too much about, but um, it's still an interesting one to have. Um, you can take off the helmet. And obviously, there you can see Bill's face on the front, and you can see another face there on the back if you wanted to swap sides. Um, now, you oh you can also it comes with the hair piece as well, so obviously you can have him without his helmet on. Now the Ant Man little Ant Man micro figure, if we can get that in focus. Can't really get that in focus, but yeah, um, this is a brand new. I can't really get that in focus, which is a shame. This is a brand new print that we have for Ant Man. Now, obviously, with this being well, with this being a micro figure, this can act as a normal sized figure with a mini Ant-Man or Ant-Man could be normal size and um, Goliath can be giant. Um, I'm going to just take it, it, it works either ways but I'm just going to take it as um, Goliath is normal and Ant-Man's tiny because it just looks a lot better compared to the others. But uh, yeah, interesting figure, probably not a character I care too much about but it's still a good one. I really like the helmet as well, that's really nice, really nice addition. Something I quickly forgot to mention, um, this one does come with a spare Ant-Man, so it's not really a piece you'd want to lose, so with it coming with an extra one, that's really, that's really decent, that's really good. There we go, just a closer look of them together, there you go, better, better zoom on that now. Right, so now we have finished with the top layer, here's the figures we've got so far, uh, there's just some boxes there and a load of figures there. 
Um, okay, so now we have another, yep, some more there to go. So let's get through these ones. Okay, so first, let's take a look at the first figure that we have. Um, okay, I'm not going to bother looking at the weight. We have, who is this? Oh, we have Hawkeye again. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Next one. Come on, I really hope I get a full set. It's not looking too good. Oh, oh wow, nice. We have Mr. Knight, okay. Next up, we have Mr. Knight. Um, this is another one of Mark Spector's uh, alter egos. Um, it looks, it's a pretty bland figure, but it does come, as you can see, that one of the accessories it comes with is just the little goldfish, which is a reference to the uh, first episode, Goldfish Problem. Um, you do get his pair of truncheons, uh, obviously you get his little suit, you get a spare truncheon as well. Um, there's nothing on the back really, just a part of the uh, zip-up suit. Um, decent figure, quite quite a bland one, but not um, one of my favourites. But yeah, still something I do love about this these series, as we'll go off topic a little bit, is that they could have used just any normal, like any figures, any characters for the Marvel ones, because that's what we was expecting first, but... The fact that they've used like the MCU IP and just used like the What If series, uh, like Moon Knight, um, the X Men ninety seven, Hawkeye, etc. I think it's different. It's a different approach, and that's what's really appealed most to me about these Marvel figures. Um, but anyway, yeah, a bit off topic there, but yeah, Mister Knight. Anyway, pretty pretty cool one. I'm looking forward to Moon Knight more though. That's going to be one of my favourites, I reckon. Okay, so next one. Let's take a look. Now, let's have a go at weighing again. So, 0 0.070. Um, sorry, the tab's just crashed. So, I don't know. Just going to take a guess. I reckon... I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look, see who it is. And it is another Kate Bishop. That's fine. Okay, next one. I'm getting a little bit concerned that I'm not going to get a full set. I will be honest. Yeah, I think I've only took four out of the second at the bottom layer, but still, I am getting a little bit concerned. Another Mr. Knight. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. Who we who do we have here? Wow, everyone's favourite She-Hulk from the best MCU TV show. Let's take a look at this one. So here is She-Hulk. Uh, regardless of what, obviously, we all think to the show, I'd probably, uh, this figure's actually really good. Now, this is only one of two She-Hulk figures we've actually ever got. Um, so it's good to have a new one. Um, at the leg printing and even back front printing, everything is really nice on this one. The printing is really good. As you can see, there's a, like a little file here for Abomination. The phone with uh, Wong, Wong's calling. Um, like, like I said, the back printing is really good on this figure. There's the alternate face to use. Um, this is really good. And obviously, it's this is more of a different one, different uh, figure along the lines of the other ones. Um, this is a good one. The series, honestly, my honest opinion of this series so far, this has actually been a really good, really good one. Um, I don't know which one I prefer out of this one and the original one, because this one's been really nice. But yeah, this is uh, She-Hulk. Yeah, really good one. The file, the file of Emil Blonsky is really good. So yeah, really, really good one. Even if people aren't that keen on the show. I've not actually seen the show. Well, I've seen the first couple of episodes, but I kind of stopped watching it and I kind of just missed the boat from there. But, uh, but yeah, still a, still a pretty, pretty, pretty decent one to have. Okay, so next one. Let's have a go at weighing this one, see if we can work out who this is. So 0 0.065. So who could that be? Um, I'm hoping this is Moon Knight. I mean, how many more do we actually need? So we still need Werewolf. Uh, we still need Moon Knight. Actually, that's all we need. We only need those last two characters. So I'm hoping this this could be either of those because it's not point not six five. So I reckon it's Moon Knight. But uh, yeah, so we've still got a good chance of getting the full set. I better have anyway because I'd be quite annoyed if not. 
Don't want another Wolverine. It's great, but I don't want another one. Oh, it's She-Hulk again. Okay, let's put that one aside. That's fine. Nothing wrong. Just dropped one of the boxes. That's fine. Okay, so next one we have Mr. Is that Mr. Knight again? Yeah, we have Mr. Knight again. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yes. Oh my God, Moon Knight. Yes. Nice. So here we have Moon Knight. Now, oh, wow. This is. Can we just appreciate the detail on this figure? I think this has been a lot of people's favourite. Now, obviously, as you can see, it comes with his crescent blades and as well as his, his uh, scarabs. I'm lost for words on this one. This one's a really good figure. And you actually get two sets of accessories as well. Um, obviously, he was played by Oscar Isaac in the show, who's a great actor. I only knew him for Star Wars before. Um, but to see him in this as well is really good. Oh, I knew him as Apocalypse as well, actually, in X-Men. I forgot about that. But, um, yeah. it Two side, obviously, you can use you can spin his face around and use that side instead. Um, the detailing, everything about that figure. I just, want, I just want to do some more shots on that because this looks... This is such a cool... I can't put the accessory back in his hand now. Let's just get some close-ups of the um, of the detailing. Um, wow, well, check that out. I can understand why this is a lot of people's favourite figure. The detail and just everything, the colour, everything. It, it, it's so cool. Like, this one is... I don't know which one's my favourite now. I honestly don't know. I really don't know. This this is... It's definitely better than Mr Knight. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that figure, but this one's definitely up there. This is definitely the best one out of the two of those. I mean, it just looks... It looks fantastic. Um... Out of the Lego Disney 100 minifigures range, obviously this is kind of reminds me of um, Ernesto de la Cruz on that one, and that one's my favourite figure on that series. But that, it's not just because it's the same sort of colour, it just it just looks really nice. There's something about the design on this one, it looks really good. Look at that. Look at the detail on this one. It's probably the best shot I've actually got. I should have been doing this for all the other figures, actually. So yeah, wow, this is really good. And this spare set of accessories for this one as well. Really, really good. Looks really nice. Obviously, this and Agatha are the only two figures to actually come with capes as well. So it's nice to get this really soft white one. I've never seen this before on a figure. So yeah, just another little look at that one. Anyway, yeah, really good. Really good one, that one. Really like that one. Right, so all we need is Werewolf by Night, and then we've got them all. So let's have a look at that. 0 0.060. Ah, this could be the last one we're looking for. You know what? I'm going to say it is. I haven't looked at it, as you can see. So if it is, that would be a great guess. And oh my God, yes it is. Wow, I swear that was a guess. And I got it right. I finally have a full set. Nice one. Last but not least, we have Werewolf. Now, he comes with the uh, Bloodstone. Uh, we get a spare one as well, which is cool. Obviously, in case you lose it, obviously, you've got a backup one. Um, nice, nicely detailed figure. Um, I can't get that to focus. That's really annoying. I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, the hair piece is cool with the ears there. Um, the nails, uh, the yeah, sorry, nails, things on the uh, front on his feet. It's really cool. Um, the back printing, the arm printing. I've never seen the arm printing like that before. That is really cool. That is really cool. Um, two sides as well. So you can swap, swap which face you want to see. The hair piece is really cool. So you like, like the ears. I like obviously the jewel mould. Whatever. Really nice. There's no side printing on the torso. But it makes up of it with the arms really. Yeah. I really like that one. And it was a good good end to the, uh, the set. So now I think we should just take a look at who we've got left. Now, now I've got the full set. At the end of the video, I'm going to um, put them all in. Put them all in the uh, frame and you'll get to see. Well, you'll get to see them all in the uh, in the frame. It's gonna, and I'll put them side to side and I'll have my final thoughts on which series I like more. Right, so let's see who we have last. Out of the last set, we have She-Hulk again. 
Now there's only, how many left? There's not too many now to go. So see She-Hulk there. We have, oh, nice, another Moon Knight. That's cool. We have, oh, another Moon Knight. Wow, that's cool. Cool figure. Let's go have multiple of those ones. We have, oh, another werewolf. I'm just flying through these now, because obviously I've got my set now. We have a, another, oh, another werewolf. Who's this? Let's see. Oh, another Goliath. I think that's only... I've only got two. Did I? I can't remember now. Who's this? Oh, another beast. That's cool. Last two. Last two. Oh, another beast. And last one. Getting all this dust all over. Last one is... Oh, Goliath again. That's all of them. So let's take a look at how many of each figure we got. It's definitely an empty box now. Yeah, no more left in there now. So as you can see, everyone, I actually managed to get three full sets. So, um, yeah. So obviously we've got, um, obviously, the Moon Knight characters, uh, She-Hulk, Hawkeye, obviously the What If with Goliath, um, Echo, and the X-Men 97, along with Werewolf by Night and WandaVision. Um, overall, thoughts on this set, on this series, I really like them. I really like all the characters. There isn't really any that I don't like. Obviously, there's a lot that are better than some of us. There is a couple that are fairly bland. Um, I don't really know Echo that well. Um, obviously, What If's really good. I haven't seen the episode with um, Goliath. But um, overall, I do really like this one. Thoughts on it compared to the first series? Um, you know what? I genuinely don't know. I don't know um, how to compare them. I think, I think I like them both pretty much the same. Maybe Series 1 a little bit more but um i think the ones that stand out for me most on this series is straight away the x-men 97 um and the moon knight ones i think they're my favorites so i'd probably say storm moon knight and believe it or not goliath i think they're my three favorites three favorite figures overall but yeah i've really enjoyed filming this one and um let me know your thoughts on uh, how well this video was and if you'd like me to do more. But um, yeah, I'll, um, I will see you in the next video. I am hoping to carry on with my Lego Star Wars reviews. I know it's been like, what, five months to, uh, since my last one. My next one's meant to be the uh, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter and the uh, Rebel Y-Wing. Y um, I am hoping to get that one um, filmed soon. They've actually, it's been built for ages, that set. But um, I am hoping to get it done soon. Um, but yeah, let me know how you think I've done and if you'd like to see me do more. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.